We just harvested two of our pigs um, two days ago. The hang weight on the pigs ended up being 270 pounds. Pretty big pigs is what we were told. So today, Renee and I are going to be butchering one of them. Um, we had so much meat that we had to send one of the pigs off to another butcher. We didn't have enough room. So we have our setup, we have our table here, and then I'll be working on the other side of the counter, uh, cleaning up the meat, putting it in the food saver packages after Renee gets everything cut. So today is um, butcher day. So what will we use that for? Fat. Mm -hmm. You can oh, render okay. it. Huh? You can put it in the sausage. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, you ever want to see what uh, two pigs worth of meat is? That. All that. See if you can see it. Yep. And we got the freezer chest in the back patio that's not full, but it's got quite a bit of meat in there as well. Lots to do. Do a couple things here. All right. We had a pretty uh, gnarly storm that came through. And so, our retaining wall worked. None of the water fell. You can see like there it's dry. Let me get closer. You can see it's nice and dry here. See all this? did its job. However, it did flood here. And that is because water just rushed down through here. And it came down and you can see the path, the, the path line. And it just kind of shh, and just stayed here. So I need to address that. I've actually wanted to finish these stairs going all the way up to the top. That way there's no downslope there. So I need to do that. I'm also gonna get the um, that landscape um, round. It, it sort of acts like sandbags. You put it at the base. I'm gonna put it at the base of the entire perimeter. Obviously the flagstone is gonna be on hold for quite some time until it gets uh, dry. And we got some rain in the forecast here. But with that, we still have lots to do. Lots and lots to do. I'm gonna prep the smoker because I've got some uh, pork bellies that I've been curing for a week that I'm gonna go ahead and smoke so we can get some bacon for the, for the week. Getting close to uh, it's getting close to Christmas, so we have the boys here. 
We have a boy from, uh, we have a young boy from uh, Washington State. Drove down. And then our, the oldest is from, uh, he came from, uh, North, he flew in from North Carolina. Then obviously we have Shane. He's in San Diego. He's not far. So it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So I love Christmas. And one of the things that I love about Christmas, not only is the house just beautifully decorated for Christmas and family are here, but the boys are home. And you know what that means. That means I get free work done on the farm. You guys have gloves, yes? Yes, ma'am. We're gonna start in the back. Do you guys have stuff you don't mind getting poop on your shoes? I'm wearing yeah. farm shoes. All right, okay, I'm good. I'm wearing my dirty hands. Hmm? I'm wearing my dirty hands. I can see you guys have gloves. Are those your gloves or Renee's? These are my gloves. Oh, I love those, Will. Yeah. Those are pretty awesome. Yeah, we're gonna start in the back. Morning, Rock. Hi, buddy. I'm not gonna get my jaw dislocated by these horses, am I? Well, if you keep you being will. rude, yeah. Stand behind him, you will. You just gotta he let him know. Like he's challenging us. No, he's not. No, he actually sure. is the pastor leader, so he's the alpha. I don't feel very challenged. I know what's like. I think you're quite. He's licking challenged. his lips now. He wants to play. No, that's actually horses. That's not a bad thing when they do that. Oh, so he wants to play with us. Well, like fun. he wants to have Hi, some fun. Just be sweet to them, Will. Right, okay. Just be sweet. I'm not gonna get kicked. I'm not trying to get kicked. You know, as long as they know you're behind them, you're not gonna get kicked. But, mm -hmm. yeah, you're fine. Hi oh guys, I miss you. This is Rocky. Rocky, how you doing, buddy? So you can walk behind them as long as they just Rocky know you're behind them. Marty Bird. That's Willow up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. What's up, dude? And then Nacho, Billy, Maisie, Ella May, Henry, Sadie, our Sal. Well, Willow's coming to say hi. Hi, Willow. And then Willow and Marty get fed second. What if you were to challenge that? Rocky will move them out of their troughs. What if he didn't? He will. Like, not even. Oh, and over here too, Brad. Gotcha. already moving them out. He's a king bee, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, here he is. I hear you, Willow. <laughs> the animals are talking to the boys, telling them they're not moving fast enough. Mm -hmm. You're going to give one scoop. You're going to give both of these to um, Rocky. Okay. And we're going to do the same for Mark. Oh, yeah, take it back over. Where at? Right here in his trough. Okay. Oh, I know Willow, I know. Yep, so he's coming back over to you, which is good. Nice. Good boy, Rock. In there? Yeah. Pour it in there? Yeah, just pour it all in there. Nice. Oh, big boy. Okay. A little bit more. Just a tad bit. And then give that to Mark. He's ready to go. Right there? Yep. All right. He's 
a senior um, equine. So the same for, for Willow. Okay. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Yep. And she's ready. She's like, Will, come on. I'm hungry. Yep, perfect. Yep. <laughs> no. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now is do the same in this bucket. Now we're prepping for the um donkey. So the same in this bucket. Yep. Now you can put the lids back on these. Okay. These are the donkeys. Do you remember where the donkey's okay. trough is at down there? Yep, yeah, by the... Yep, you just go put that and they'll follow you. All right. Jesus. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> talking to you. They never feed us. They will follow you. They hurt us. Yep. I clean the poop. <laughs> I clean the poop for the animal. You shovel the poop. You dump the poop. Shovel. <laughs> Dumping. All right, I shovel poop. World is like a cycle of poop. You have to go with the motion of the dirt. Move. Like the poop. I dumped the poop now. Adios. Riley's dumping the poo. We're gonna Big feed, dog. now we're going to feed the goats and Elvira. I'm gonna leave this open for right now because he's focused on his food. Okay. So the goats and Elvira are gonna get some dry coffee. You can put that bucket right there. Okay. My hands are still pretty wonky. She's waiting. Yeah. Elvira's like, hey, any day, farm boy. You're gonna dump that grain. You're gonna dump that grain into her orange bucket. She's all right. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Hell yeah. And then you're just gonna take that and chuck it in the center as hard as you can. Get it in the center. Perfect. Just like that. Hey. Nice. Okay. Brad's doing a great job. <laughs> All right, now it's time to feed the pigs. Charlotte's on the job again. Riley's 
Renee said don't worry about getting on the inside of her enclosure because she'll get a little aggressive and he doesn't want her to be aggressive with you guys. So, um, yeah, don't worry about that. Oh boy, Charlotte. All right, so these two barrels are the pig feed that Renee mixes, but he, we have, don't have to open them. But we have them fermenting in the, the two red buckets and the two orange buckets. So after he fills them and these guys, he puts water in them so it kind of ferments them. And so they only have the two, the two pigs right now. Really need one bucket. So if you grab one bucket, we're gonna take it over here to the pig enclosure. One bucket? Just one bucket. Okay. Mm -hmm. Morning. Good morning. I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off of it. Oh my god, that's gross. It's good actually. So we take this shovel and Renee kind of just we just mix it up. Looks like hell. Mm -mm, it smells good. If you smell it, it smells very sweet. It smells almost like it's fermenting beer a little bit. Oh, it actually does See, smell kind of yeah, good. It does smell good, huh? It's like a weird, I don't even understand that. Yep, it's good. Wow. Um, so we just kind of mix it up. It's been sitting for a couple days, so it's just fermenting and getting nice and good for them because yeah. we're, we keep their um, we keep their food very moist because they digest better. Yeah. Is she trying to eat my glove? No, yeah, she'll, you can pet her. Yeah. They will, you can pet her, ah. hey, mama. <laughs> they will bite you, so be careful. So all we're going to do is, you're going to take this bucket in, and you're yep. going to pour half in one trough and half in the other. Those. Mm -hmm. Yep, and the great thing is, is you can step over because you're super tall. Yeah. I think I can step over. Just be careful because that wire is live. Okay. Okay. It's kind of heavy, huh? It's all right. So come over here, half in one trough and half in the other. They're okay. gonna leave you alone. They're actually really good. It was the other two that... It caused problems. Yeah, so half in one. Perfect, and then half in the other. Nice, yep, pour it all in. Try to get all out of the bucket. Yep. Sadie's gonna come around to get into her trough. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good job, Lou. Yep. Yep. And then what we'll do is we'll take that bucket and over there, there's a spigot with a hose and yep. fill it halfway with water. Okay. Okay? Yep. 